Thumbs up if you can hear. Thumbs up if you can hear us. No? One, two, three. All right. Brother Mark, can you hear us? I can. There we go. There we, there we go. go. Just making sure we got some audio. You guys all look very mimey. It's good. Very picture. Very, very picturesque. <laughs> Uh, good evening. Thank you for joining us. We're going to wait a few minutes. I really want to hear the theme song. I don't know about you guys, but I've been wanting to hear it all day and I haven't got to it. I feel like we need the theme song. Let's see if I can pull it up here. No, that's not it. Did you guys all eat your cake already? They're all frozen again. <laughs> They're all frozen again, except for Father Mark. Uh, you chillers, did you save a piece of cake for me? Oh, no, no, no. Can we get back? Yeah. Now you guys are moving. There we go. This is going to be a rough night if. Uh, <laughs> Are we us. moving all the time? Are we moving? They're moving now. Oh. I think we got it. We got we some dancing better. going on. Oh, Jump on. on. Let's see come you on. dancing. Come on, Father Mark. <laughs> Bust a move for us. <laughs> Woo! Raise the praise. <laughs> nice. Welcome. Good evening. What time is it? Are we good? Oh, we're yeah, good. we're good. We'll give people we're another good. minute here. Hill Girls, Jacques Daniel, do you think that's me? Proof oh, from I the witties. Oh, man. Look at that cake. Nice. Goodness gracious. Witties, you could, I could, like, make a throne out of that. That's huge. Uh, you know where I live. Bring that one of those pieces by. <laughs> The, the grin on John Paul's face says it's not happening. It's gone, Father. Is that true? Teresa, you're laughing. Is that true? I want to know what's in the cake it's first. It's true. There isn't any what's, left. What's in the cake? Will that do it? Yeah. No. Yeah. I can hear you. There it's gluten-free, <laughs> homemade, with lemon frosting. Oh, that sounds good. <laughs> Do you know the address to uh, St. Therese? It's 532 <laughs> Adams oh, yeah. Street. Okay. <laughs> no problem. Look us up at about 9 o'clock. Father Mark McCormick's tried to hit everybody for some cake. You better... <laughs> yeah, I'm seeing all these pictures, but I haven't gotten proof of the existence yet. I need substance. We should have, that should have been the yeah, challenge. That, that should have if been someone challenge. could get a cake to us, and then we would do like a cake test, like we'd eat all the cake and see that which was the best contest. cake. That would have been. Someone just put a chat on. What's that? Someone just chatted. Did you get that? No. No. Yes, Father. Yes, you are. We're gonna turn that up a little. Is that any better? Oh, then don't do that. I got the fly. <laughs> there was a little pesky fly in my nose. We got him. You guys can hear us okay? Thumbs up. We're good. Could we go louder? Would it hurt your ears if we went louder? We got a lot. We're like at five and we could go to 11 if we needed to. That's a, that's a, Old joke. We could be a seven. We could be a seven. I'm okay. going to turn it up to maybe a seven. Okay. I, 
think it's time. Is All right, time? I should think it's time. We should stay. Should we? I feel like we should either sing a song or say That's a prayer, prayer or something. Yeah, something. Maybe <laughs> maybe start with a prayer. Okay. Should I do it? You want you? I'll, I'll go ahead. Okay. All right. In the name of the Father and Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, thank you for this beautiful day in which we get to rejoice in you. And in a special way, that this day we get to rejoice in the intercession of your blessed mother, our blessed mother, and how she's interacted with us throughout our life as she interacted with you. We ask all this, that you guide us, protect us, and lead us always to your side. We ask this through the intercession of Mary as we pray. Hail Mary, full of, full of grace, grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou, thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, sinners now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Amen. Saint Kateri, pray, pray for, for us. us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. It looks crazy in that house. What's going on down Ooh. there? That's my house. Oh. <laughs> an up, uproarious ruckus going on. Uh, good to see good. you guys. Did everybody have a good day? Thumbs up. It was a good day. Good challenges. Yeah, uh, lots of thumbs. A couple, uh, a couple so sos. I had a good day. It was a crazy day, but it was a good day. Yeah, I've been running all That's day. Uh, I did get to watch episode five. Is that what episode yeah, we're watching? Sure. Episode five. Yep. Uh, did you, uh, what's your, we were just talking, we had a really deep, meaningful conversation before we started our video and audio, so we're going to try and recreate that, sorry. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what was your, what was your favorite part of episode so, five? Uh, it's pretty hard to narrow down a favorite part, but one of the best parts, um, that I, that just gave me goosebumps was right off, um. Joseph had just found uh, Jesus in the temple, and he comes to Mary, the ver first thing, and he says, don't you know that I should be in my father's house? And she's like, well, you weren't with your father, or, you know, and he says, well, I was in the temple, and she says, oh, this is starting now, so early, and he says, if not now, then when, you know, and it just really caught me off guard of what better time to proclaim then if not now, then when, you know? Um, and Mary's always in the now. And this whole story, this whole episode is built on Mary being present in the now. Like she comes mm. to Dinah early to help out for a wedding uh, because the mother of the bridegroom is her best friend. And she's so in love um, with her son. She's waiting for him, excited. She wants to get there before him, but she doesn't just go ponder and wait. She's always there to help. And then, um, no, spoiler alert, you know, she, if you haven't watched it, she it's too leads, late. It's too uh, late. She leads the servants to Jesus and says, do what he says. Everything he says. Not just like, listen. She says, no, do what he says. Hear what he has to say. And those moments mm -hmm. were just kind of take my breath away. It's like, oh my goodness, she's done that. And I really Everybody. appreciated that reversal, you know, where now she was saying, if not now, when? Yeah. And uh, Oh, yeah. Yeah, the whole shift of first it was Jesus, yeah. now it's her, and now it's time. And, now, uh, wow. One of the things that really stuck out to me, now keep in mind, I've watched this, uh, all of these episodes like four or five times now. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel like nothing, I, nothing has escaped me, but I was, uh, I was watching it. Uh, the kiddos were watching it and I had to stop by the house. And, and so I was, uh, seeing kind of part of the end and, um, uh, the conversations between the disciples, between like Simon and Thaddeus and Mary Magdalene is they're still kind of trying to figure out how they got here and what's going on. And, um, and it just has become clear to me, like, uh, even watching episode one again, that Jesus was there in the, I didn't catch it. I don't know if you guys caught this, but uh, when Mary walks into the bar in episode one that we watched on Sunday night, um, as she's walking into the bar that final time, right before Jesus heals her, 
Uh, she walks into the bar. She passes Andrew. Andrew is coming oh, yeah. out of the bar, and she's coming in. They like kind of bump shoulders. I didn't catch that the first five times. It, yeah, it uh, took me three. <laughs> <laughs> but he, and then so Jesus was in there when you know Peter and Andrew were, were talking about, and they haven't gone through that whole discussion. And then he was in there, you know, with Mary, and so he like he's been watching all of these people, and he sees their weaknesses and yet he sees their gifts you know and mm. even that conversation with uh, thaddeus where he's like you know we were working together and we were building this thing he didn't want to say what the thing was right not proper to say in front of women uh, he's building the latrine but um but he's building and jesus his invitation is uh come and build the kingdom with me you know and his invitation to peter was come you know i'll make you fishers of men uh, and and then in this episode we get uh, Thomas and and the wine and it's uh, again the invitation is tailored to each of these guys and their own um, the place that they're at and it's like Jesus sees their sees their potential that's what I was just kind of overcome with like Jesus sees their gifts and their potential and even in the midst of like struggling and suffering and and difficulty and uh, even maybe like a lowly thing like building a latrine you know like building a toilet jesus can see he's got the skills to build the kingdom of god you know and uh so anyway that just that was one of the things that struck me about this episode uh on the fifth time around wow that's awesome what about you guys did anything uh those of you in zoom land <laughs> <laughs> this is such a weird experience. I'm glad you guys are coming and hanging in there. Um, anything, did you guys, anything stand out to you? I liked the scene with Thomas and Jesus when Jesus was changing the water into wine. Da Thomas was really doubting, at, doubtful, mm -hmm. and just not putting his faith in and... And then when Jesus turned the water into wine, I'm sorry, I lost my train of thought. No, I love that too. And what struck me on that is that is, I, I don't know if they intended it to be really funny, but it was just profound. Like he just stands there looking at the water, like for the whole rest of the scene, right? Like he's just in so much disbelief. Like he first, he didn't believe Jesus could do it. And then he didn't believe Jesus did it. You know, it's just this, uh, uh, yeah, that's, that was good. Yeah. There, there was a beautiful moment there where Jesus looks at Thomas and he says, it's okay to ask questions. You yeah. know? It's okay that you have this question. But there's an encouragement. Don't stop there asking the question. It's like, see it, accept it, believe it. And some of the things you're going to see are absolutely crazy. And... We know from the scripture that Thomas saw a lot of crazy things mm -hmm. that made no sense. And as they painted him as a calculator, like everything, mm -hmm. um, I can only imagine what, what light uh, was laying in store for him. I know it's uh, part of the storytelling process, but I really appreciated that, uh, you know, we have the benefit I kind of take for granted we have the benefit of knowing Thomas's story and we know how it ends, you know, and uh, and with all the apostles, like we know their story, we know uh, a lot about them, but just seeing sort of the foreshadowing of things to come yeah. and and yet it appears that Jesus is kind of aware of all that too, you know, and uh, and kind of takes the enjoyment I think from just what's going to come, like the the beauty of the surprise I think is is another thing that's been standing out to me. Anyone else? It's hard. The camera's up there, but my computer's here, so I'm trying to look at you, but I can't really look at you if I'm looking at you. But, yeah, I thought it was funny, like, the callback to the beginning of the ep like episode when Mary flipped it around and asked Jesus, if not now, when? Mm -hmm. Yeah, all those things mentioned before, um, I... I was able to notice and recognize this time around. It was only my second time, I think, watching this episode. Um, and it really struck me, I think, with the exception of Crazy John, uh, Nicodemus, and Andrew, 
um, that I, I'm noticing that like um, Thomas's business partner, uh, um, Eden, Mary, all those, those women, they're slightly more attentive to Christ mm -hmm. than the guys are with, I mean, with the exception of Andrew, who's super attentive to Christ and then is trying his hardest to get Peter to, to notice and to get Peter to see that this is Christ. Um, and I think, yeah, especially with Mary, um, just to show how attentive she is um, to the needs of um, the the wedding party and the needs of the uh, like Thomas and um, his business and the, like the mother of the groom and all of that. Um, that's just something that really uh, stood out to me. Nice. I didn't pay him to say that, but that's real. That was a real thing right there. <laughs> One, uh, one part that I kind of singled out in my head is when Jesus asked everyone to leave the room while he was changing the water into wine. And hmm. he, he said, Father, I am ready. And then he put his hand on the jar. And then he dipped his hand in and it came out of his wine. And he just kind of like closed his fist around it. And like, it is time. Uh, that's kind of like, uh, that's what stood out in my mind. Nice. Yeah, one of the things I thought when I saw that, you know, because it was a close up of his hand and it was like dripping wine and I kind of got this, I don't know if it was in the intention of the filmmakers and the writers and all that, but I kind of got this foreshadowing of his passion, you know, mm. it was just, it looked kind of blood like and, uh, and there's this sense that, um, it's coming there's like this is the beginning of of uh like that's where that's the direction that's where it's going but it begins here so nice and um i was noticing that when um jesus was getting ready to change the water into wine thaddeus was describing how as as a stone mason that you start and it everything changes and you cannot go back mm -hmm. that struck me yeah that was beautiful i didn't notice that either there's a lot i didn't notice that, from this episode that was an absolutely beautiful voiceover <laughs> of thaddeus talking to mary magdalene of like it's we need to describe stone masonry was mm -hmm. it's a little more final you know? yeah yeah and that that you can't make the adjustments. And Jesus, um, when he makes them, uh, does miracles, you know, the, the chain of events that follows is totally undoable. Mm -hmm. But they're some of the most beautiful events. He says, don't, don't tell anybody, you know, you gotta be quiet. And then people follow, and yeah. just a ripple effect and such a beautiful thing. You know, the cut you make in the stone changes everything else. Mm -hmm. If you move it a half inch, it looks completely different. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that was absolutely beautiful. Great point. Schmitz, I bet you have something super profound to say. And does, look at that. <laughs> We are super behind. That is the super profound thing we have to say. But we are so looking forward to catching up. <laughs> there's no there's no going to sleep until you catch up. <laughs> uh, good. Well, uh, tonight, uh, Josh is here. You saw Josh uh, Monday morning, and uh, tonight we have a special opportunity. I think you kind of dropped a few hints about your own testimony, but tonight we get to hear uh, Josh Lee, seminarian. What year are you? I just finished my second year of theology two. Okay. Um, so theology two uh, of four. So um, four years down, two to go. 
Nice. Yeah. So tell us about uh, how uh, the Lord invited you to follow him. And uh, maybe we're going to hear a little bit about Mary's role in that. Or... Yeah, she plays a huge role, um, just as she played an enormous role in this episode. Uh, as I was watching the episode, I was really thinking back like, oh, my goodness, how did the director just follow me around and like tune some of these images right at me and these themes? Um, so uh, let's start with a quick prayer, right? In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end, amen. Mary, Queen of Peace, pray for pray us. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. So kind of like Mary in the in this episode, she really showed up early in my life. Um, when we were young, my family and uh, we'd all get together and pray the rosary. Um, but at some point, we kind of quit. And we just got so busy, we quit praying the rosary together. You know, we'd never miss mass. And when we did, we'd go to confession. And um, I had a so-so relationship with God, but whatever, I'd kind of forgotten about Mary. And when it came around to the time of confirmation, when I was a junior in high school, um, I had to choose a saint. And I wanted to know, like, I prayed. And it was the first time I'd really prayed. I was like, someone, God, please help me. Help me find the saint because I wanted to draw me closer to you. And um, I went down a list of saints and I just picked out the most obscure name that I'd never heard of. And it wound up being Juan Diego. And I started reading his story, and I'm like, no, there's no way this is real. And he was canonized like 10 years ago. And as I go through, I was like, I love his relationship with Mary, his trust in the story, you know. My little son, my little son, listen to me. No harm will come from you, of you. And uh, I said, I want that relationship. So I chose him and was praying with him in a, uh, a few years later, uh, I went off to college, and I had a lot of health issues. And uh, through the whole thing, you know, I missed it in the moment a lot of the times. But Mary was always there, um, encouraging me, praying with me. You know, I had a lot of allergic reactions to some of the medications I was on, and uh, severe allergic reactions. And there was always this sense of Mary. And, uh, and Christ, it was never her without him. And when everything got healed up and I was good to go, I quickly forgot, <laughs> as, as I always do, you know. And I got to the point where I was about a year out of college and I was working and I was in a place I really wasn't happy. And um, I had gone to Mass every every Sunday, I hadn't missed at all. And I sat in the same spot, in the same place. And I thought, there's gotta be more to this Catholic faith than just once on Sunday. And uh, no one ever said hello. And finally some guy, my last day, last weekend there, he walks up to me and introduces himself. And in one breath he goes, hi. Hey cowboy, how are you? What's your name, where are you from? what? Now, you know, of all times. And at that moment, I could just feel in my heart, okay, this was a rough experience. But the next parish I'm at in this town of faith, I'm not going to have that. Because if not, you know, um, if no one comes up to me, I'll go up to other people. And there was really kind of this prompting from Mary, I, looking back of, go ahead, it's okay. In about six months of living in faith, I um, was really getting into the community, but I'd make a, probably a, every other week, I'd make a trip to Rapid and listen to the radio. And I found myself just getting really disgusted with what was on the radio. I just, it's empty. And I heard this prompting. And I, I always kept a rosary in my, in my uh, glove box, but I never used it. And I heard this prompting. Pray with me. 
pray with me. Shut off the radio and pray with me. And I was like, who is this? And she said, grab the rosary, pray with me. And so I uh, took the rosary and I, I was like, Mary, I've forgotten how, you know? She said, that's okay. She said, what do you remember? I said, I remember that there's an Our Father, 10 Hail Marys, a Glory Be. I don't remember any of the mysteries. And I'm thinking, how could you want me to pray with you if I don't remember the prayers? She said, that's enough. Just pray them as you got them. And I said, okay. So I, I went through, and there was this peace there of, oh my goodness, I've been missing this. This whole time, I've been missing this. Mm -hmm. And so every time I got in the vehicle, it just, it was two hours between faith and rapid. And I thought, every hour I'll pray a rosary. So I prayed, could pray two, two different mysteries and the fruits that came from that, just shutting off the radio led to more quiet time. You know, you pray a rosary and that's like, I don't want to turn the radio back on because it's a junk noise. Because we hadn't, we didn't have Catholic radio yet, um, and the beautiful thing um, was I was growing closer in my faith with Christ, but I still didn't have that great relationship that I that I desired, and I was sharing that with my uh, priest, Father uh, Jim Harry, and um, at this point I was starting to think about the priesthood, and it was growing closer with Christ, and. Um, I said, Father, I've been trying to talk with Christ and it just seems like he doesn't come. Hmm. And then I don't, I don't hear him. I can't hear him and I'm scared to go. And he says, have you asked Mary to go with you yet? I said, no. He said, ask her. Ask her and see. And so I got to the chapel and I, I, I sat down and I remember thinking, Mary, would you go with me to your son? And this quiet, yes, you know? And she just walked me through prayer and said, ask him what you want, he's here. You hear him, you see him? I said, no, she said, but he's still here. And so I had this beautiful prayer experience of um, just saying, hey, I want you to take a step. I want you to take a, a leap and start deeply considering this, the priesthood, listen to what these people are saying. And um, just the, the craziest things started happening, you know. Um, Mary became this amazing intercessor. I would run to Mary as I'd run to my mother, you know, when I was little. And some of the most beautiful things we had, um, my grandma was really ill and they said, she lived about 10 blocks from the hospital, and they said, they, we won't make her make it with her unless we get an IV. Mom asked me to say a prayer, called and asked me to say a prayer. So I prayed a fervent rosary, and as soon as I made the sign of the cross, my mother called again and said, um, I just want to call and tell you that the paramedic made a last-ditch attempt, got the IV started on his way to the hospital with her, and we made it to the hospital. She's in a bed, she's doing okay. But I went to go, after I had all the paperwork done, I went to go thank this man and I couldn't find him. So I started asking around and no one knew who he was. Huh. I said, mom, did you get his name? And she says, no. I said, I think I know his name. I think it was Michael, mom. I'm pretty sure Mary sent Michael. And just that really grounded, um, this love and like, okay, my mother's got me. She's got my family and she's there and she hears all my needs. And so as I was discerning entering the seminary and even now, four years in, she's always there and she's the one that always leads me back. You know, I, I get wayward, you know, getting caught up in everything. But so often it's, it's Mary that What do you hear? You know? hmm. Let's just spend some time. 
And so uh, a really beautiful thing is um, if you haven't been to the Blessed Sacrament Chapel in St. Therese in a while, um, there's a new image of Our Lady on Door of Knots behind, mm. behind the tabernacle, beside the tabernacle. And so in about March, when I came home for COVID, uh, I started doing my holy hours in there, but I started moving over just one spot. I said, Mary, this is your spot? Would you just sit here and pray with me? It's been some of the most fruitful holy hours. Um, sometimes really difficult. Um, but just like Thomas, you know, it's like, I don't see it. I don't know quite, Lord. But I'm going to trust you because Mary says, listen, listen. And um, just the beauty that Mary has in this relationship she has with her son and so longs to share with me and everybody else. Uh, such a beautiful thing. Wow. Yeah. Holy cow. That was beautiful. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Mariana, <laughs> clap. Uh, no, that is beautiful. One of the things I was thinking about as you were talking, that again, it was something I picked up uh, just this watching this time that I didn't before is um, Peter and uh, I can't remember people's names. Peter and Mary and Thaddeus are oh, sitting yeah. around talking, and um, and, and Peter is talking about, he's kind of reminiscing about how he learned how to fish. <laughs> you remember this scene? And he yeah. said, my dad, do you know how our dad taught us how to fish? He got on the boat and then we learned how to fish. <laughs> and there was this sense of, uh, you know, just the, the time spent. And, you know, as you explained, and um, I don't know if how many of you got to play, pray the Luminous Mysteries uh, today. But I remember reading uh, the document where... Uh, Pope St. John Paul II introduced those mysteries to us. And one of the things that stood out to me in there was just this image and idea that Mary was at all of those moments mm -hmm. with Jesus, you know, and you see it in that, in that little exchange, but in the whole episode, right? Like there's so much nonverbal communication going on that just comes from yeah. being with people. And, uh, and, and Mary was there. She was there for every moment from the, from the conception to to uh, his death, right on the cross, she was there for all of those moments, and so, yeah, just like when you, you know, as you experience when you go uh, with her, she, who else but yeah. her can take you closer to Jesus and and help you enter into those mysteries of his life. That's beautiful. Good. Well, I think we should pray night prayer. What do you think? Should think we pray? That's, that's good. Or should we do a drawing for a prize first? Thumbs up for a drawing. Will it distract us? If you lose, will it distract you? And then you won't. Okay. We're going to do. We're going to do awards. Okay. So uh, obviously if you sent me some photos, uh, you've seen some stuff. If you go, I just put something. I just put something on the uh, totustuusdomi.com website. That's kind of a feed. So. Even if you're not on Facebook or Instagram, um, you can still kind of see some of the stuff. If you go to that totus to uh, there's a feed of some of the images and things that people are posting that are public. So if, you're, if your account is private, uh, obviously uh, it can't pull that stuff. But, uh, but I still see it if we're friends and uh, people have been emailing me and texting me things. And so I thought uh, it's been great to see all of you guys enter into the activities. I've, I've seen some of these. Just... They're incredible. The cakes and yeah, yeah, yeah. the rosary walks. Yeah. This is, this Father is Mark awesome. even got into it, you guys, on Instagram. So you're going to have to find him <laughs> on Instagram to see his uh, to see him praying at the School of Mines. So, okay, we, uh, prize number okay. one. So prize number one is Our Lady's Wardrobe. Can you see that? It's a beautiful book. I don't know what it's about, it's... but it sounds awesome. Oh, Oh, you'll just have to guess. No, she's talking about heaven in here and the wardrobe she wears. So Lovely beautiful. her virtues and things like that. Yes. I didn't read it, but it's uh, stunning artwork. It's very beautiful. Introduces Catholic children to the Blessed Virgin Mary in a fun, simple way through her clothes. Nice. There you go. All right. And then in the box is a rosary ring. That is, this is a really cool rosary ring. And really cool then rosary. also... 
you have an option. That's at a prize point. number two. Prize so let's number draw two. for prize number one first. All right. So prize. if you uh, did a rosary walk, posted it, or sent it to me on social media, we've got your name in the basket. And this is a bowl. I go. guess it's a bowl. It's not really a basket. I looked for a basket. O'Connor. O'Connor. Can we get a whoop whoop? Whoop whoop whoop. That's them, kind of. That's a fake picture nice. of them. Right. I think it's a real picture of them, but prize it's not number, really them. That was prize number one? Prize number one. All that right. is a super sweet. You're gonna, Eric's probably going to steal that rosary, and you're never going to see it again. And then the image. And okay, so Kate, so that image uh, popped up in my news feed today. Kate Alley, who's uh, Father Nathan Sparks' uh, little sister, is uh, has been uh, involved in Focus. She's been a Focus missionary. She just is in town, and she just started... Um, did she do a this? website? Yeah, she drew that. Wow! And made that print and, and local artist and hand delivered it today. Local so artist, what a prize! A and then a beautiful ring. wooden rosary ring. That one's also super cool. Awesome! I'm kind of jealous. I should have entered. Too late. It's right. Too late for you. Ooh, Mutchler! Mutchlers! Oh man, it's gonna be a big fight over that. <laughs> All right. Nice. Congratulations. There's more prizes. There's a prize every day. You can learn more about the prizes tomorrow. Um, and then there's a prize at the end of the week. All of the things that you did besides the challenge, John Paul, like uh, baking cakes, like um, w throwing goldfish into things, all of the things that were not the official challenge that you do that you either send to me or share on social media. Um, or text me, or uh, do it in front of me, do whatever you got to do to get entered. But uh, there's a final prize we'll show you uh, later in the week. We're waiting for one of the pieces of the prize to, to reveal it. But, nice. um, all right, we better get crack a All right. Night prayer. Is everybody ready? Same as uh, last night and the night before. We'll, um, Josh, you'll be the celebrant. Yep. I'll be the all, so you guys can sing uh, with me whenever I sing. Well, it's everybody, and then um, that's all we need to know. I, I think that is pretty, this one's pretty simple. Bear with me; I'm a little rusty. Not at praying, singing. Don't say that. <laughs> I'm good though. Ready? God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. As we come to the close of our day, let us look back with the assistance of the Holy Spirit and with Mary. Go back to the moments where we first woke up and through to lunch, into the afternoon and into the evening. Where it was that we walked with Christ and listened to him and to the call of Mary and the Holy Spirit and followed them. Followed them faith, faithfully without grudging. Let's give thanks for those moments that we saw clear blessings and graces. But let us too gently invite the Holy Spirit to show us those moments where we struggled. Those moments where we may not have been our best. We didn't follow so closely. We may have strayed. Let's our, express our sorrow. Make a firm amendment for our plan for tomorrow to follow him more closely. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Christ eleison, Christ.
Stay sober and alert. Your opponent, the devil, is prowling like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Resist him solid in your faith. Into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. You have 
have redeemed us, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. Protect us, Lord, as we stay awake. Watch over us as we sleep. That awake we may keep watch with Christ, and asleep rest in his peace. Lord, now you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Protect us, Lord, as we stay awake. Watch over us as we sleep, that awake we may keep watch with Christ and asleep rest in his peace. Lord, fill this night with your radiance. May we sleep in peace and rise with joy to welcome the light of a new day in your name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. May the all-powerful Lord grant us a restful night and a peaceful death. Amen. Salve Regina. Mater misericordiae, vita dulce do, et spes nostra salve. A te clamamos, exules filii heve. A te suspiramos, gementes et flentes, in hoc lacrima ruvale. Eia ergo, advocata nostra, illos tuos, misericordis oculos, ad nos converte. Et Iesu, benedictum fructu ventris tui, Nobis post hoc exilium ascende, o clemens, o pia, o dulcis virgo Maria. Saint Kateri. Pray for us. Saint uh, Pope Saint John Paul II. Pray for us. All you holy men and women. Pray for us. Pray for us. Amen. Amen. Thank you all for joining us tonight. Uh, there is uh, a couple questions um, that are some good questions. So if you miss a session like tonight or in the morning, uh, especially in the morning because uh, challenge for the day uh, directions and that kind of stuff is going to be uh, given out by the MCs if there are any deviations or changes or um, I die in the middle of the night or the world blows up or something. You need to know important stuff that's going to happen at the morning session. So um, we're trying to post that within like 30 minutes of it happening. So uh, that's about, we're going to post it and then we, uh, and then we're, we're attaching that to totus to his domi.com. You can go there. In fact, if you missed any of the sessions, it looks like uh, all of you guys have been at the sessions so far. So, uh, But in case there are some of you joining us that haven't made it, um, you can go to totustoisdomi.com after the session, usually within the hour, and, uh, and see the video posted right there on the right sidebar of the screen. Um, 
tomorrow morning, I believe uh, we've got, uh, I don't know who's, Laura, Laura's going to join you, and I have all these notes, someone fun is going to be uh, there. Oh, Max, Max Vetch. Max Vetch, who's uh, awesome. a seminarian who's uh, living up in Spearfish doing his summer assignment up at uh, Our Lady, or uh, St. Joseph's in Spearfish and St. Paul's in Belfouche. So yeah. he's going to join uh, Laura in the morning. We'll see you for that morning session and for all the important uh, episode uh, information about the scavenger hunt. All that's going to happen in the morning. Um, if you have, I, I started to get uh, tonight some uh, some talent show action in my inbox, and uh, I, I didn't see I didn't see Mary Francis's talent show thing yet. Or uh, oh, whoa, whoa, what's happening? Woo, woo. Uh, I didn't see Sebastian's talent show thing yet. But uh, if you want to enter the talent show, uh, look at the instructions. You can send it to me. Uh, I know the Mutlers were trying to email me a big file and it didn't work, so they posted it on Facebook and just uh, kept it secret. You know, it's only tagged me and, and Laura, and so that worked perfect. That's probably easier than anything, and then we can uh, we can share it with everybody tomorrow night in the evening session. I look forward to back it. here, and uh, we're gonna see some amazing talent. I'm sure. Good. Any questions? Do you guys have any questions before we go? Anything you want to know? Um, like what kind of stuff can we do for the talent show? Like anything? Yeah, so on the family resources, on the family resources, the very, 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 very last page, it says virtual talent show Wednesday evening, 8 p.m. Um, and it has all the instructions. So you're supposed to take one of the, um, one of the healings, one of the stories of Jesus healing people and and put it into some sort of creative, you can, uh, I've seen some skits, I think some sock puppets are coming. Uh, I, th I think uh, someone sent me a picture, you know, anything you can do that's creative and nice. fun, some stop motion, if you want to do a little claymation. <laughs> now we're uh, going back. That would be super cool. So anything like that would be awesome. Good? Check it does, out. does it have to be a miracle about healing people, or can it be any one of the of Jesus' miracles? It has to be a miracle about healing people. Has to be, because that's the oh, theme for awesome. Wednesday. That so that's, that's what. <laughs> that's the theme for Wednesday. Uh, any miracle. Annie over overrides me here. She says any miracle. She tells me what to do. Annie's the co-creator of all Totus Tuus things. She said any miracle. That's fine. That's Max, fine. Max Daniel has a growth of hands growing out of his neck. This is about the time of night that my uh, my family starts to fall apart. So okay. I'm glad I'm here in the quiet with my pink drink here. My wife's going to kill me when I get home. So thank you guys for coming. We love you. Yes, thank, thank you for joining into this. And... Uh, Go to sleep and so you can wake up early and uh, start on all yes. the fun activities for the day. Sleep well. Thanks Amen. for coming. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> well, the light's reflecting a lot off my head. It's getting kind of glossy. <laughs>